Hello everybody, this is Rich Sis, but it's Bad Cat Sphere, and I'm here with a video to further investigate how the stomach and brain is involved with psychonesis. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video, the stomach, intestines, and brain is connected by the enteric nervous system, as you can see here, which is a crucial part in helping psychonesis. Now, as you can see, there's also microbes involved in this. They're inside of the stomach, intestines, and the stomach themselves. They help with sending information by cortisol to the brain to help reassurance and confidence to move an object and to uh, reinforce intention. As you can see, here's a few different types of gut microbes. By further investigation, I also found out that the microbes in the stomach prepare themselves before a person performs an action. The microbes in the stomach get into this anticipation preparation mode even before the person commits to an action. Now what this means for psychonesis is that the stomach and the microbes are developing and creating bioelectric energy, emotional activated bioelectric energy. And this helps with psychonesis to help to move objects. Even before the person commits to it, the stomach and microbes start to develop and cultivate this energy. Now as you can see here, here's the, the intestines absorbing um, nutrients, whether it be um, from fiber or from probiotic foods or things like that. You see the stomach needs to be in a healthy state in order for it to be able to cultivate emotional energy through the intention, intention alone, the idea and the concept of, tr of wanting to perform a ac physical activity or a psych psychonetic activity. Over time, when you practice developing your intention and creating a concept of, of an idea of trying to act on, on an idea, um, your stomach becomes conditioned. Your microbes become conditioned to this. They, it's like exercise for them. They learn, you know, like memory. They learn how to prepare for these such activities uh, due course uh, when you do this often. That's why I say that it's very important for you to carry your successes on whatever you accomplish in psychonesis because that helps you to create and develop and cultivate this emotional activated chi electromagnetic energy in the stomach which then helps to penetrate through the body to affect an object to connect to it to move it and that's why i say it's very very important the longer that you carry these successes within you the sensations the positivity within you the more that you cultivate bioelectric energy this helps to also create biophoton, which is the most intelligent photons there is because it's interfused with your knowledge and your wisdom. It's alive. It's alive like you. It's basically small little pockets of clones of you with your thoughts. You know, so biophotons are probably the most intelligent particles in the universe. And the, uh, and the other uh, thing is that the stomach doesn't think on its own. It doesn't have a limbic system or parietal lobe or anything like that like the brain does. So what it does is that it utilizes the microbes as you can see in this picture. The microbes are actually the thing that makes it think. The microbes are thinking and feeling for the stomach. So when you have a reaction to something external outside and your stomach reacts, it's not your stomach so much as that it's your microbes seeing through your eyes and reacting to the world around you. And they use a, a stomach as a telephone or a cell phone, the middleman, to send information to you. And that's how they send emotional cultivated electromagnetic energy to affect the world around you. To allow you to manipulate your reality from the inside out. Now, this, this is just all from my own investigation that I learned on my own. And through my own thought, thought process. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. This is what's going on. The enteric nervous system involves psychonesis. Thank you guys for watching. This is Mad Cat Sphere. God bless.